Hi, our project is called MCR-OCR, which stands for My Coke Rewards Optical Character Recognition. If you've ever had a bottle of Coke, you might have noticed on the bottom of the cap are these codes. These are part of the My Coke Rewards program. If you enter the codes online, you get three points for each cap, and you can use the points to redeem prizes. But entering the codes online is kind of tedious, and you can only enter up to 100 points per week. So we decided to make an iOS app that would let you scan the codes and automatically apply them to your account. So I'll show you a demo of that working. Within the app, you click scan code, and then a camera view opens, and you align the code within the bounding box shown on the camera view. Then you take a picture, and then you hit use photo. The OCR engine is run, and you can see here that the characters have been recognized and are put into this text field. Now let's see. It looks like we had a perfect read except there was one extra B character inserted. So I can actually just edit this and remove the B. Let me double check this is all correct now. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, so now that I have my code all ready to submit, I press the Submit Code button. A text message is generated and I'll send that on over to the MyCook Rewards text message number. In a few seconds, I'll get a reply from the MyCook Rewards program text message number with whether or not my code was accepted. And there, there you go. You can see that MyCook Rewards accepted my code, and I just earned three points for my account. So we wanted to make sure to offer the ability to edit the text, because sometimes your camera may have low light. But we think our OCR engine works great. And to make that happen, we trained it on a lot of Coke bottle caps. These are just some of the caps from our training set. And we have a lot more in several other bags. Let's walk you through part of our training algorithm. Here's Matt. Hi, here's an image of a Coke bottle cap which we took. You can see the code here. Uh, we took this image into Photoshop and we cleaned it up a little bit and this is the result that we got and we tried a training data set with images of this quality but found that it wasn't good enough uh, in order to get accurate results. So we modified the caps slightly by removing the blue covering on them to get better, more clear images from Photoshop. And here's an example of one. This is just for the training data, by the way. Eventually, we did this for a lot of caps. And here's an example of a training data set which we used to teach uh, Tesseract, uh, OCR engine, our font, and what cap codes could look like. To the right, we have the boxes bounding the characters identified, as well as the truth about what kind of character they are. For example, this is a B. Uh, we eventually took it into the JTest box editor and refined the solution, removing some characters that didn't look so good, like this 4. And then we trained Tesseract on our data set using a Python script. If you search for M My Coke Rewards or MCR in the, in the App Store, you'll find one app, and it's the official Coca-Cola app. And uh, it's got about 180 ratings, and uh, its average is 2 out of 5 stars. And actually, one of the biggest complaints that people have in their reviews is that it's too tedious to enter codes manually. And there are people begging on here for a way to do this by taking pictures of caps or taking pictures of codes and having them uh, entered into their account automatically. And so what we've done here is target exactly these reviewers and try to sort of uh, fulfill the needs that they're expressing in their reviews. Uh, in the course of doing this, probably what was the hardest thing was actually the OCR. And while OCR is regarded as a solved problem in some settings and by some people, what made it uh, a unique challenge here is that we didn't have access to any particular font file or, or font specification. What we had were a bunch of caps, which are effectively all samples of some font which is defined somewhere, but we don't know the font definition and there's quite a bit of variance between these samples that we have. And so it was difficult to decide uh, which characters are standard enough to be a training set and how many characters are good enough to do the training, uh, but we feel like we've gotten there and we feel like our OCR works really well.